The Andromeda Galaxy was the first to show us that the universe doesn't revolve around us. It proved that Earth isn't the center of everything and that we're just a tiny part of a much larger cosmos. Over the past century, we've learned a lot about Andromeda, mostly from observations made here on Earth. But now, with tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, we're seeing it in a whole new light. Recent data from the James Webb Telescope has surprised the entire industry. Join us as we uncover the truth about Andromeda, a truth that eluded us for over a century. Just over a hundred years ago, people saw the Milky Way as a faint, cloudy band in the night sky. Galileo Galilei changed that perception in the early 17th century when he used his telescope to reveal that the Milky Way is actually made up of countless individual stars and celestial objects. Andromeda, the nearest galaxy to us, played a crucial role in this understanding. It's one of about 100 billion galaxies in the visible universe, and its visibility from Earth without any special instruments has fascinated astronomers for centuries. In the 1920s, Edwin Hubble's observations with a 100-inch Hooker telescope showed that Andromeda, along with other distant nebulae, was not part of the Milky Way but a separate galaxy in its own right. Even before Hubble's discoveries, Persian astronomer Abd al-Rahman al-Sufi described Andromeda as a small cloud in the 10th century. His keen observations without telescopic aid marked one of the earliest records of this distant cosmic entity. Despite limitations in early observations, astronomers like Thomas Wright made significant strides in understanding the structure of the Milky Way. And as technology improved, so did our understanding of the vastness of the universe, with Andromeda standing as a testament to our evolving knowledge. In Wadi 764, the renowned French astronomer Charles Messier catalogued the Andromeda galaxy as M31 in his well-known Messier catalogue, mistakenly attributing its discovery to Simon Marius and unaware of al-Sufi's earlier work. Nonetheless, Messier played a significant role in putting Andromeda on the map. For almost a century after this, astronomers worldwide sought to understand more about this mysterious galaxy, each building upon the previous findings. A significant leap in understanding occurred in 1864 when the English astronomer William Huggins made a groundbreaking observation. He studied the spectrum of Andromeda and noted its difference from that of a typical gaseous nebula. This paved the way for a deeper understanding of Andromeda's true nature. Andromeda is colossal, with a mass estimated to be between 1 and 2 trillion times that of our Sun. Its age, around 10 billion years, suggests a long and intricate history of formation and evolution. One intriguing aspect is the hypothesis that it formed through the merging of several smaller proto-galaxies over billions of years. Recent research has led scientists to revise their understanding of Andromeda's mass, bringing it closer to that of our Milky Way. Its physical dimensions, however, remain impressive, stretching farther than our own galaxy with a diameter of about 220,000 light years. Measuring the mass of galaxies accurately is challenging due to their immense size and complex internal structures. This knowledge required modern tools and techniques that were not available in earlier centuries. One of the most fascinating features of Andromeda is its active galactic nucleus AN, a highly energetic region at the galaxy's center powered by a supermassive black hole. Advanced telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope reveal intriguing phenomena within the AN, including two distinct regions of intense radiation emissions. In the heart of the Andromeda galaxy lies a supermassive black hole, exerting an immensely powerful gravitational pull on surrounding stars. As these stars orbit around the black hole, they follow elliptical paths similar to planets orbiting the Sun. At the perihelion, the point closest to the black hole in their orbits, gravitational forces are at their strongest, causing the stars to move at their highest speeds and bunch up, becoming more concentrated around the black hole. This increased concentration of stars releases energy in the form of radiation, including visible light and other electromagnetic radiation. Astronomers observe a brighter point of concentration near the central supermassive black hole, a result of unique gravitational interactions between the black hole and the stars in its vicinity. This distinctive feature provides valuable insights into the gravitational dynamics and interactions within Andromeda's galactic core. Another fascinating feature of Andromeda is its abundance of globular clusters, dense groups of stars orbiting around the galaxy's center like satellites around a planet. Andromeda is estimated to harbor around 460 of these ancient clusters, each containing hundreds of thousands to millions of stars formed around the same time. The presence of these globular clusters offers valuable insights into Andromeda's cosmic history and interactions with smaller galaxies over billions of years. Andromeda's characteristic of accumulating globular clusters and stars from smaller galaxies is typical for spiral galaxies like itself. 
Recent observations have sparked speculation among astronomers that Andromeda might be transitioning from a typical spiral galaxy to a relatively rare type known as a ring galaxy. Ring galaxies are characterized by circular or elliptical ring-like structures consisting of bright, young and blue stars with relatively little luminous matter in the central region. These unique features make ring galaxies stand out among the vast array of galactic structures. Within Andromeda and the Milky Way will ultimately create a new, unified stellar landscape. However, while the merging of galaxies promises a spectacular cosmic event, its effects will ripple far beyond the boundaries of space. As the Milky Way and Andromeda merge, the colossal gravitational forces involved will distort their shapes, leading to tidal interactions where stars, gas and dust are pulled between the galaxies. This process, while awe-inspiring, will also bring destruction and chaos as the galaxies overlap and merge. The merging process will initiate significant changes within the newly formed galaxy. Stars, gas clouds and dust clouds from both galaxies will interact and mix, potentially forming new star clusters and structures. The orbits of stars will be altered, creating a dynamic and chaotic environment within the merged galaxy. Moreover, both galaxies harbor supermassive black holes at their centers, which will eventually merge as well, forming an even larger black hole at the heart of the newly combined galaxy. The collision and subsequent merging will also trigger bursts of star formation in regions where gas clouds collide and compress, creating new stellar nurseries. These nurseries will become the birthplaces of young, massive stars fit for the new galaxy. From our perspective on Earth, the merging of galaxies will transform the night sky into a cosmic light show, with stunning displays of star clusters, shock waves and bursts of radiation. New constellations and stellar arrangements will emerge, altering the familiar night sky. However, the effects of this cosmic event will not be confined to space. On Earth, significant changes in the environment can be expected. The merging of galaxies could lead to disturbances in the solar system, impacting Earth's climate and weather patterns. Changes in temperature, precipitation, and weather events may occur globally, influencing the distribution of vegetation and animal habitats. The increase in cosmic radiation within the intergalactic region could impact Earth's atmosphere, including the ozone layer, potentially affecting climate patterns and posing challenges to the survival of various species. The disruptions in habitats and changing climate may interfere with migration patterns and breeding cycles of many animal species, leading to challenges in finding food, water and suitable breeding sites. Biodiversity may be affected as existing habitats become less hospitable or shift entirely. Ultimately, the merging of galaxies will not only reshape the cosmic landscape, but also have profound implications for life on Earth, highlighting the interconnectedness of the universe and our fragile place within it. Changes within an ecosystem could indeed lead to shifts in species populations, with some species thriving in new conditions while others struggle to survive. Increased competition for resources may occur, presenting new opportunities for certain species to flourish, while others may face local extinctions. Disruptions in habitats and migration patterns can have cascading effects on the entire ecosystem, potentially resulting in the loss of certain species from specific regions or habitats. While these changes are concerning, it's essential to acknowledge that the merging process won't happen overnight. The collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies is expected to begin approximately 4 billion years from now, with the entire merging process taking another 2 billion years to complete. However, long before this collision, our solar system will undergo significant changes. Around 5 billion years from now, our Sun is projected to evolve into a red giant, engulfing the inner planets including Earth. This renders our solar system uninhabitable long before the merger between the galaxies takes place. Even if descendants of our species or other life forms exist billions of years from now, they will likely be vastly different from humans today, both genetically and environmentally. The fate of our solar system within the new supergalaxy is uncertain, with possibilities ranging from ejection into the intergalactic medium to integration within the new galactic structure. The stability of the new galactic structure will influence the potential for habitable planets to exist within it. Planetary orbits and environmental conditions may be affected by gravitational disturbances, impacting the evolution and sustainability of life on any potential habitable planets. While humans of today may not be able to survive in this new galaxy, any life that emerges within it would likely undergo adaptation to its specific conditions. Different physical and chemical properties of the new galactic region could give rise to unique forms of life distinct from what we know on Earth. In conclusion, while the merging of galaxies presents fascinating possibilities for the evolution of life in the universe, 
It's a process that unfolds over billions of years and is beyond the scope of human existence as we know it. 